Hey everybody, this is Pebbles the Horse, and I'm Papa Sean, and we are looking for herbs as we roll through in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. And so the area that we're looking in is uh, southeast of Ledco, north of Ratai. And uh, I can see some herbs down there. Those are going to be sage. And uh, I think this is chamomile. Yep, get some chamomile. All right, so we got some thistle right next to the sage. So the thistles are going to have a little bit of height, more height than the sage. Go ahead and pick up some of those thistles. And um, always keep an eye out for uh, belladonna. Let's see if we can find some out here while we're going around. Some more thistle. And let's try to head a little south. Okay, so we're going to go south, uh, southeast here as we come through. Running over some sage. There's some dandelion next to the sage. So if you're looking for these herbs and stuff, and it, it, the herbs is definitely a skill you don't want to neglect. Because I mean, you can pick up one herb and it picks up a whole patch, and you can use these herbs for making potions. And then not only do you get herb skill that ties into your main level skill, but you'll also be able to get some perks that will increase your charisma. So if you look at the player uh, herbalism. I've already picked up some resistance, so our vitality increases by two, flower power, charisma by two, leg day. Every time you pick up an herb, it increases your strength uh, progression in your experience. So this is really powerful to, to incorporate in, and you're, since you're going to need uh, savory snaps for your uh, save games, go ahead and pick up a small thing of St. John's, and it'll clear out that whole area of St. John's Ward. So it's not like a long time to pick up herbs. It's not one for one grab. You're actually grabbing a whole pack of them all at once. You're running in the middle of one of these marigolds and just grab it. Yoink. Get like five or six of them. You will notice that it kind of weighs you down a bit too as you're picking these up. I just grabbed all the yellow dandelions and now I'm going to grab all the sage. Boom. Uh, let's see. What else are out here? These are more marigolds. Uh, the uh, plants will respawn every seven in-game days. These one, uh, white ones are valerian, as you can see how they're not always the easiest to find, but there's quite a few out here. And uh, what else we got out here? More valerian, more sage, more chamomile. And it continues south. So you'll notice some other flowers, like these little blue ones. They're, they're not actually anything you can grab. There's a yellow uh, dandelion next to it. So you'll be upping your herbs, you'll upping your alchemy when you make the potions. You have some wormwood, a little bit taller yellow plant. And all this ties into your main level. I think I see something nice over here. I hope, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. And it's just more thistle. So savory snaps is what you need for the level ups. Not level ups, <laughs> the save games. The save games, everything leads towards leveling up your character, but the save games are required to have savory snaps in your inventory, or you can find a bed that you can sleep and save. Uh, savory snaps would be on-demand saves, and for that you're going to need to have two of the belladonna, and you're going to need one nettles. And there's probably nettles I'm walking over right now. They're, they're, uh, they kind of blend in, but they're almost everywhere. Little stinging nettles. So you get more thistles and marigold. Let's kind of check the map again, see where we're at. We're a bit southeast now of Ledco. All right, so I think that these might be some... I felt it looked like there were some nettles in there. I was going to show you what one of those nettles looks like. It's a bit overgrown here for my liking. I see some chamomile, but I'm trying to get back out to an area where there's more flower as easily seen. So we got some St. John wort right there, and I passed up on some sage. I can see some poppy from the distance out here. So you can go right into the middle of the group, grab that poppy, and you'll just see how it clears out the whole area. It's just a big circle. And I think it might actually increase as you get your uh, herbalism skill up too. But you'll be grabbing lots of herbs in no time. Uh, let's see what else. We got walking over dandelions and poppy. Really hoping to get an example of the Belladonna, just to kind of pick them a little bit clean. It's 
more thistle. Come on, Belladonna. What do we got here? Just another blue flower. So these are going to be wormwood right here next to the sage. Let me go ahead and grab the sage so I can see the wormwood easy. Wormwood. There goes the herbalism level. And more wormwood, more marigolds. Thistle, eyebright. Okay, so there's some eyebright right there. They look a little bit like a cross between thistle and um, chamomile. You can see how it's got some white flowers, purple. That's the eyebright if you're looking for that. Uh, we got some sage down there. Some more thistle. Uh, these white ones are the valerian. The dandelions out there. So these brown plants right here, they look a lot like belladonna, only dead belladonna. We're going to be looking for some... Belladonna is going to be a bush about that height with uh, purple flowers. So we've got some marigold and dandelions in here. And some valerian even hiding in amongst the dandelions. I think these are dandelions. Or are they just yellow flowers? They're just yellow flowers. We've got marigolds next to us. Alright. Can't sprint! Ugh. So we call our horse over, and Pebbles likes holding our, our flowers and plants. So we have 318 dandelions. You see how fast it is? You just hit that X, move to inventory, yes thank you, and then that will get rid of uh, our weight so we can move around quite a bit more. I think it did. Did I move it to the wrong place? Let's see. Uh, sidekicks? Yeah, I think I took it out of the, the bag there. So player inventory. Let's go to our plants here. We got some valerian. We're going to move that to the horse. And I had just picked up all of that. Uh, I guess 388 dandelions. Move to the horse, please. What else? We got a lot of metals. I'll move those to the horse. And 238 sage. There we go. We should be free to move about the country now. The countryside. I am not finding the Belladonna. I really wanted to show you guys the Belladonna. And I know that it tends to be easier to find along the roadside. And, uh... Show me some Belladonna. I'm going to create a separate video, I think, for, for the Belladonna so I can give you guys a, a look of where it is and what it looks like. But I'm going to continue grabbing some herbs. Maybe I can come across some here while we're doing that. So I think uh, we've covered all of these, the poppy, marigolds, more poppy. We've got some wormwood here. And... Uh, If you follow the roads, you get to see a lot of flowers, and you can go, um, oh, look what we found here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is Belladonna. So if you follow the roadside, you'll see lots of different flowers. You can have a good field of vision for, for the plants. When you're in the bushes and in the trees, it might be harder to find it, but let's take a good look at Belladonna. You see it's a, roughly half the size of a human, and it's got some uh, angular leaves with purple buds. So, like I mentioned, uh, the other ones that were brownish uh, look like dead belladonna. This is a living belladonna, and you're going to need two of these for your savory snaps. So, we get one. <laughs> one belladonna. So anytime you're at a, an herbalist, uh, please pick up as much belladonna as they have to sell. These almost look like nettles. We'll find some out there. But I wonder if I just continue down this path might be able to see some other things. We've got wormwood. There should be some more belladonna out now that we kind of got on the trail of the belladonna. Hey, I hear sheep. Did you eat all the belladonna? Where are you going to go now? Where are you going to go now? Poor sheep. Mutton. 
All right, so that that was at least one belladonna. <laughs> <laughs> we're halfway to one savory snaps and so I think I mean you can pick them up at uh, the shops as well uh, if you've got plenty of money go ahead and buy the savory snaps if you are short on coin or if you want to raise your herbalism and you figure hey I'm gonna get out there I'll keep an eye out for belladonna and nettles and just grab everything else you see because I mean really you can get that skill up really fast just grabbing big patches of these when you see one sitting out there, it might not be worth your time to stop for one, but when you can pick up a whole patch just like that, yeah, it's just really well beneficial to have. Okay, got a big clearing out here. A lot of white flowers. Unfortunately, they aren't going to give us anything that we want. So these are, you see how it's a little bit more challenging to find. There's poppy in here, and we can grab all the poppy in that little area but we're going to be surrounded by flowers. It's not as easy to, to locate the ones that you're actually interested in. So roadways are good. Um, fields where there aren't a whole lot of natural, non-pickable flowers are also helpful to, to grab the things that you're looking for. But I mean, right now, just walking down here, I can see, okay, there's chamomile, there's dandelion, there's poppy, you know, might be some others that are blending in that I can't quite see. And all the while we're upping our vitality by sprinting and jumping. We got some St. John's wort. We got some wormwood. So being able to <laughs> spot them without having to get close is going to save you some time. So get familiar with what the plants look like. You got some marigold right there. See, here we're going to get a little marigold. You ink. All right, got a big patch of poppy up ahead. And you can sell these herbs too. I think there's a feat that increases how much money you get from selling the herbs. So it's a little bit of a money maker as well as a, a skill up while you're out here. Looking for that ever elusive belladonna. Well, we found that one. And I know there's more out here. I cleared out quite a bit earlier. We got some more sage. And these again, they look like the dead belladonna. Let's check the map to kind of show off where we're at. Alright, so we can go a little bit west towards the, the tree line. Sometimes they grow amongst uh, trees. But I, I kind of shy away from going into the woods because uh, it can get a little more difficult to see that which you're looking for in here. Especially when it comes to belladonna, which kind of blends in. You got some woodcutters over there. What is this? Not Belladonna. See how you get get excited in the woods here. You guys see any Belladonna? No? How about you? I'm sure you got some Belladonna. No? Mm-mm-mm. You got wormwood. I was really hoping to get an example of belladonna growing in the woods. How how it's a little bit more challenging to spot, at least for with my eyes. But maybe this is a good example of how hard it is to find it because we can't. We actually haven't been able to find any. So as you travel around and you meet up with herbalists and alchemists, you can take a look at what books they have for recipes for different potions that you might be interested in creating. Savory Snaps is number one, but there might be some others that you're interested in. I think there's a potion that lets you see at night. Very helpful for if you have uh, some activity that you're going into during the nocturnal hours. Up to no good. You sneaky sneaky. Oop. Almost ran right past it. You see in the tall grass, it doesn't stick out as, as easily, but this is belladonna. If I get close enough to it. The purple flowers gave it away for me. And it grabbed all the belladonna that was in the area. Um, I wonder how much belladonna I've got. Let me just take one quick peek around here to see if there's any more. I just see thistle. 
in the area that I just found that last Belladonna. And what's this? Nothing. All right, let's take a look and see how much Belladonna we've got. Let's go A to Z. Belladonna, we've got 29. So, you know, it's been elusive, hard to find, but we get it at least a, a good uh, 14 um, savory snap potions out of it. That's 14 saves. That might be enough to last you for uh, several, several hours of gameplay, depending on how frequently you save uh, through on-demand saves. But just to kind of give you an idea of where to find these plants, how to locate them, what they look like. Knowing what they look like is the best um, preparation, I think, because as you're running around, you'll see plants and be like, huh, what's this? Oh, it's nothing. So now I know that if it's tall, it's white, it isn't all right. It's just a, a random plant that's in here that's of no use. But if you uh, come across a big patch of red flowers, you know that they're probably poppy if they're low to the ground. If they're purple and low to the ground, probably sage. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I've shown you guys uh, the stinging nettles yet, and which is interesting because I've always run across stinging nettles, especially when I don't want to, and there's hundreds of them all over the place. Let's see, what is this? Nothing but purple flowers. You'd think there'd be more by the the water side too, but it seems to be along the roads is where I find most of my flowers. All right, pebbles, take us to the flowers, pebbles. So pebbles is kind of like your <laughs> summonable inventory carrying system. You push the X key and pebbles will come running. Get you all set up with. Uh, transferring. You can transfer uh, your inventory even when you're not on the horse, but when you're on the horse you can as well. And so you just click on your inventory. It has like X to move to horse. You can move one or all. Uh, you can see that uh, we got five herb of Paris. I think I've got hundreds of something that I probably want to move, like the poppy. I probably won't be crafting the poppy. Horse can't carry anymore. Poor pillow. <laughs> what, what do I got on poor pebbles here? 525 hunting arrows. Okay, that'll be the next thing going around hunting stuff, I guess. Use up some of those arrows. And if you wonder where I got all those arrows, it was by uh, sneaking up on cumins. I'll probably stick a, a video up on that too, how to how to harvest arrows off of those cumins. Sometimes, I think I found like uh, 300 arrows on one cumin once. So, I guess he had a lot of arrows to fire. Never got the chance, poor guy. All right, so we can see the marigolds and the nettles, and um, I think that'll do. I think that we're we've got quite a few. Get at least 14 potions going for the uh, savory snaps, assuming I don't botch them. And I'll put a video up on that as well, how to create those potions. Wow, I almost I just got to stop here because this is a huge pack pack of poppy. So you run out into the middle of it, you hit that E button, and you just grab it all. You clear out a big chunk of it. So again, you find yourself a nice patch, and then now I smell good, my charisma's up, and I can go ahead and sell it for some profit. I will catch you next time, guys. Good luck surviving out here in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, and happy crafting with your alchemy.